let's just use these numbers just uh, to finish off. Let's just say this is our inductor. Let's calculate what its inductance is going to be just simply based on the geometry. So I'm going to count the number of ends here. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, okay, there's about 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, okay, and then I'm just going to say, this is another 30, okay, there's going to be about 90, so roughly speaking. So, let's say, so the N is about, ni uh, about 90. So we want to get a ballpark idea of what its inductance is going to be. And then what is it? So uh, we need its uh, L length, right? So this is about, uh, about maybe, do we have a ruler here? No. About probably 12, 13 centimeters. So let's say something like that. 13, that would be meters. And then its area, well, I, I'll give the radius here. Let's say the radius looks like about a, mm, a half a centimeter. Half a centimeter, that would be like that, right? Half a centimeter. So, yeah, 0 0.05. Uh, meter. So now let's put the, all that in so we can get a ballpark idea of what is its inductance. And then we'll finish with that today. So come up with a number. So 6.15 micro Henry's, right? Typical inductor uh, that you're going to use uh, this week in the class too. This is a in typical inductor that you buy, uh, let's say, from Radio Shack or whatever. And this machine is called a capacitance inductor and analyzer. So it can actually measure the inductance of the inductor. So we just put it here. And uh, we turn it on. And we push value here. And it came, comes out 13.6, 13.7 millihenries. So the units are already there. So you can see that uh, your typical type of inductor is going to be something like that, uh, millihenry, uh, which is a 10 to the minus third. So let's just put it down. L typical, about 13.7 millihenry. Now we could try a, an actual solenoid, right? As a matter of fact, we, I think we did that the other day. We ended with, we approximated what the inductance, uh, was it this one? I think it was this one, actually. We approximated from the equation what the inductance of this uh, is going to be. What did we get? It's probably pretty small, right? 0.01. We, uh, we can, I, I can call that at, uh, L theoretical for for this one we got what six point milli henry oh no micro oh okay so pretty small so something like that and we remember we didn't exactly know what the big n was because if you look here there's several layers of wrapping so i might be way off for the n, you know, but we kind of approximated. So now let's try the actual n. So we just put the machine here, the instrument. We can try out what the L of this is. Put the value, okay, 4 micro 
henries, 4.1 micro henries. So it's pretty small. Okay, 4.1 micro henries. That's not bad. I'll call it L actual. Not bad, huh? I'm impressed with that because when I did this, I just was rough balling it. Uh, I wasn't sure what the N was, what the, and then I was rough balling the radius and all that. So that's not bad. We were very close. 